the old name of today's feast is Corpus Christi. The accurate name is the feast, the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ. It is actually the feast of the Mass. It is the feast of the Holy Eucharist. And the other name for the Mass is the sacrament of real presence. Real presence. Why do we say real presence? Because the Lord has other forms of presences. For example, when the lector read the reading, she said the word of the Lord. That is presence of the Lord. For example, you go to confession, that is presence of the Lord. For example, you help the poor, that is presence of the Lord. But why is it that the Eucharist is above all these kinds of presence? Because the Eucharist is real presence while the Bible, while the sacraments, while the liturgy, the prayer can be spiritual presence, the Eucharist is real, physical presence. Ibig sabihin, malalasahan. Ibig sabihin, nakikita ng mata. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng amuyin. Ibig sabihin, damdam na damdam ko. So, the sacrament of the real presence is the Lord. It is not symbolic. For example, you offer a rose to your girlfriend. That is a symbol of your love. For example, we salute the flag. That is the symbol of the Philippines. But the sacrament of the real presence is not just a symbol. It is not just like the flag of the Philippines. It is not just like a banner. It is not just like a sign of something. It is real. The Lord is truly present. Ibig sabihin po, kapag pumila tayo sa komunyon at sinabing body of Christ, body of Christ talaga yun. It is not a symbol. It is not a sign. It is the real, physical body of Christ. That is our Catholic faith. And then, the question needs to be asked, so what shall we do? If we are aware, if we worship the Eucharist as the body of Christ, there are three things that we must do. The first thing that we must do is to kneel. To kneel is a Christian custom. To kneel is a Christian tradition. We stand to the flag. We salute the flag. Or we sit down to listen. We stand up as a sign of respect. But we Catholics, we Christians, we kneel down. We ask the body to express what we want to express. And the knees express it best. I have told you many times in the past, there was a monk, a hermit, Abbot Apollos, who lived in the desert. And then the devil appeared to him. He knew it was the devil. But you know how the devil looked? The devil looked like the person seated beside you. Yung katabi nyo, kamukha siya ng demonyo. Kamukhang kamukha. Kaya lang, may pagkakaiba. When Abbot Apollos looked at everything about the devil, everything looked similar to every human being except for the legs because the devil had no knees. The devil has no knees. The devil will not kneel. And the devil is devil because he will not worship and kneel God. And God has given you knees. Use those knees. Otherwise, if you don't like to kneel, if you don't like to acknowledge the greatness of God, 
God may take away those knees and then you will look like the devil without knees. Because the knees have a message that words cannot express. The knees have a song that the lips cannot sing. The knees have a prayer that our minds cannot compose. When we kneel, even if you're not saying anything, you are already saying, Lord, I adore you. The second consequence of the real presence is to kneel, but not just to kneel to adore, but to kneel in order to wash the feet, in order to serve. You remember the Gospel of St. John? We read that every Holy Thursday. What did the Lord do? He stooped down and knelt before the apostles and washed their feet. In other words, the knees are given to us by God so that we can bend down and serve one another. If you have really received the Lord, if the Lord has really changed you, then you must become a servant of all, a humble servant of all. Because the Eucharist and pride, the Eucharist and arrogance, the Eucharist and self-service cannot go together. So kneel to adore because the knee is a powerful way to pray. The knee to stoop down because the knees have a way of serving that hands cannot do. And finally, the third that we must do is to kneel in order to listen. You remember Mary and Martha at Bethany? Martha was cooking, but where was Mary? Mary was kneeling before the feet of the Lord, listening to the Lord. To kneel before the Lord, not just to adore, but to listen. Because in the Eucharist, a voice can be heard, This is my beloved Son, listen to Him. My dear brothers and sisters, the sacrament of real presence asks us to do three things. To kneel, to kneel, and to kneel. To kneel down and pray. To kneel down and serve. To kneel down and listen with our knees because there are messages that only people kneeling down can hear. We have ears on the side of our heads. But if you kneel down, your knees have ears also that will be able to listen what the ears cannot hear. My dear brothers and sisters, thank God you have knees. It means you are not the devil. But use your knees to pray, to worship, to listen, to serve, because that is the consequence of every communion we receive. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible.